Looking into the more details of the electronics, this is the Arduino code. It's actually based on an idea where I am feeding a small, I think we would call it a LRC link. No, not really, it's a RL link. However, from the left, we have a series of pulses, digital pulses, from an, um, an IO pin fed into this resistor. And here to the right, we will get an analog value. The first thing we do is a trick that we actually uh, set up this g uh, general purpose input of the Arduino as an output. And then we can more or less, we can disconnect, we can short circuit this capacitor and discharge it. And when we've done that, we start to feed an, a fixed number of pulses into this resistor. And over time, depending on the inductance of this coil and the resistor will re the diode will rectify uh, the, the flow we will build up uh, a voltage on this capacitor it will go very quick a few microseconds and then we measure that voltage and determine whether and the voltage here will represent the inductance of this uh, inductor inductance since that's the only variable only only component that is sort of have a variable value and um, you can see a plot out of that from the arduino here and if i introduce the soda can you will see a, a significant drop in the, the actual actually the the analog value output from that circuit and if i do the same for the bottle cap you will also see a drop in the blue but that drop is unfortunately not that big that will mean that means that the bottle cap detector is slightly more sensitive i had some problems with that uh, i had to recalibrate it from time to time uh, but the soda can seems to be a bigger drop in um, in uh, analog value 